Hi there, just a quick one. I was looking for some regular expression stuff and came across this script that has a bunch of images mapped to hot strings, which might be useful for those of you who may like to use images a lot. This website is called Compute Tool Edge, and this is created by a gentleman called Jack Dunning. He has a ton of useful scripts on this website, so check it out if you wish. Now, normally, if you want to um, add an image to a AutoArchy script within site. If you just copy an image and paste it, you don't get anything but question marks. Um, that's because your encoding has to change to something else. UTF-8 with BOM usually works, or UTF-8, I think. If you change the encoding and hit save and copy the image and paste it back into your site, then you will be able to see that. Now, there are some images that I think are not supported by site. So if I had, for example, let's try the cheese image. Okay, there you go. I think um, it's frozen. There we go, it's crashed. Um, so in that case, that's okay, because you can just open up a notepad and save all of that into the notepad. Notepad is not going to crash because you added some images in there. And once you do that, bring up this window to save it as, I'm just going to call it test auto archive. Save it as an auto archive file and make sure the encoding is uh, UTF-8, I think will do. Let me try that out. Save it. And then go back into my desktop folder where I saved the test script. If I run this, I should be able to, let me bring up my notepad to try a few images. So let's see what we have. We've got the raised hand and that gets converted to the image now. And uh, maybe let me try something else. Taco, there you go, it gets converted to taco. And of course you can do it on Chrome as well. So, um, if I typed out, I don't know, let's go sushi. There you go, you get the sushi emoji. And Google's so smart that it not even knows um, what the image is. I suppose it's not too hard to figure that out though. Um, and also let me bring up Word. I think it should work in Word as well. Let's go, um, which one should we use? Bowling, let's try bowling. Okay, bowling didn't work. Mm. Let's try rat. Nope, rat didn't work. All right, uh, oh, what else is there? I think it should work on, yeah, it should work on notepad, but I th m potentially because my word is so old that it doesn't, it doesn't know the image. Maybe a watch. Okay, watch works. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, in this way, you are able to insert images without having to search for them on Google. All right, so just go to this URL and follow what I did to start using these images. All right, bye.